All right, what's going on, everybody? So, today, I'm going to go take the BMW to get registered and insured and all that stuff squared away. Um, I already put insurance on it and we went to go take it to the uh, tax office. Get in the car. Let me notice this light right here. So I guess instead of taking it to the tax office, that's very annoying. I'm gonna be diagnosing why that light came on because yesterday everything was working just fine. The, all the brake lights were working, headlights were working. So fixing to dive into this, we're gonna figure out what's going on with it. Now yesterday, whenever we were kind of digging through this thing, uh, I noticed that in the glove box over there that there was three packs of 30 amp fuses. That makes me a little nervous because why are there so many 30 amp fuses? But as I come up here, I noticed that two of these are not like the others. So I'm going to kind of dig into this real quick. Uh, check all the fuses and everything and then after this I'm going to get into the floorboard and figure out what's going on with that brake switch maybe it's the brake switch um, I'm not real sure yet but I want to cover my easiest options first this won't take nearly as much time so let's get into it okay well after checking all the fuses, I did not find one that was blown halfway out. Uh, even the new fuses uh, didn't seem to have an issue. So I guess now I got to crawl up in the floorboard and check under the dash and see maybe something's going on. See if maybe something's going on with that brake switch, which I was really just hoping it was going to be a fuse because, ah, this is going to be uncomfortable. I mean, look at how big that lip is. I got to get up in there. This is going to suck. I will say the BMW made this pretty easy, though, with these little, like, twist pins, look like screws. It's very easy. So there's one, two, three across the top here. And then there is one, I believe it's a seven millimeter right here under the gate or right here under the uh, steering column. So I'm gonna get these out and I will be right back. So that took a lot longer than it should have. Um, apparently all of my seven millimeter sockets are missing. So I had to use a seven millimeter wrench. Anyways, got it off and this is an absolute wiring mess down here. These Germans did not get this right at all. Anyways, so we are after, where are you? Right there. This guy right here, this piece. So tab on each corner. Ah, seems like somebody's been in here before. And we want to get this piece right here out. Let's see what's going on with it. Okay, let's see how bad this is going to be. Seems to be a tab there. Oh, I can already feel it. Yeah seems that, that that pin and I'll show you what I'm talking about here in a minute it seems as if that pin is stuck so I have to get this out what is the best way to do this Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Before I break this thing, I'm gonna watch a video real quick, see how to get that thing out. Okay. So I got it out. Basically what you have to do is this red piece needs to slide towards the engine bay. There's these two tabs, one on top, one on bottom. They have to get pressed in and this switch will actually just slide out. <clears throat> now the problem that we're running into is this switch right here, when pushed in, it should be like a, almost like a, a there's a spring back here and it's supposed to push it back out. When it's pushed in, it should push back out. Well, as you can see, it's not pushing back out. So, meaning that this brake light switch here is no good. And this, it actually is adjustable, so it can be slid out. Uh, that's what that little noise is that you're hearing. But yeah, so this is this is what's causing us some issues here. All right. Well, apparently nobody has one of these around here, so I got to order it. Um, but I have to go up to AutoZone anyways to get the hood struck for this thing. So I'm going to see if they can't order it and maybe have it here later today or tomorrow or something. Because trying to get this car ready for the winery show Saturday and also Cars and Coffee Saturday. So if you guys are going out there, hit me up. I'll put my uh, social medias in the link to, or in the description below. Um, hit me up. Let me know if you're going to be out there. And... Uh, See if we can't get some of your rides in the videos. All right, guys. So like I said in the last video, we ordered a strut for the E30 uh, for the simple fact that this hood does not like to support itself. Uh, we've already had it fall a few times while we were trying to work under here. Uh, just not safe. So the hood hinge is located on the passenger side right here. Uh, it's very simple to take off. I've already taken this back clip off, uh, the one on the actual hood hinge itself. That's a pain to get to, but as you can see here, this is the clip. All you have to do is get your little screwdriver or some kind of pick tool or something and get behind this clip right here, and then it slides right off. Uh, it's very easy to do, but like I said, this one behind the hood hinge, it's a little bit more difficult to get to. So simple as that, comes right off. And then let's get this hinge off and then we are going to put this new one on and it's the same thing putting it on as it is taking it off just put it back on the little pieces that stick out it slides right on and it's as easy as taking it back or taking it off these clips just slide right back on So we've got in our new brake light switch. Uh, and as you can tell, you can you can see a difference here. Um, this is the old one that came out. And as you see, it doesn't really want to work all the time. It kind of gets stuck. This is what a proper functioning brake light switch is supposed to look like. Um, so being that we've got the new one, uh, we can get these brake lights working again. Um, putting it back in is the same way as uh, I explained to pulling it out. You got to pull this red bushing up and it should just slide right in. Uh, that red bushing stops these two clips from being pushed in, meaning that it won't just fall out. All right, so when you get this brake light switch back in, don't forget to push that little red bushing back towards the switch. Uh, that locks the switch in place so that it won't come out. So now that we've got the brake light switch put in, uh, we're going to test it and see if that was the fix. One way you can check if you're by yourself uh, is have a vehicle park behind you and see the reflection. As you can see, we've got brake lights. So we are good to go. All right. So last thing is we got to put this interior back together. Um, very simple interior to put back together. Uh, the knee bolster is three of these little clips right here. They just go into the little hole, twist, and it 
pulls the panel tight. Uh, and there is one seven millimeter uh, that's under, it actually goes through the knee bolster into the steering column, uh, but that's the only bolt that you'll have to take out. So let's get to it.